Hey, I'm Nick Boy, and this is Pocket News for Tuesday, the 23rd of June. First up, and a Senate inquiry will be taking place into Australia's game development industry. The primary goals of the investigation will be to determine how Australia can set optimal regulatory and taxation frameworks, how to maximise export opportunities, and how we can attract foreign companies to set up operations here and employ local staff. The Australian Greens Deputy Leader and Communications Spokesperson Scott Ludlam addressed the Senate, stating that the sector had been treated like the poor cousin of the creative industries, and that this inquiry will help establish what the government should be doing to support Australia's game industry, and the employment, economic and creative benefits it delivers delivers to the nation. Good! The inquiry report is due by the 1st of April 2016, and the Xbox One has continued its dismal run in Japan. Famitsu reported that during its first week of launch back in September of last year, the console sold just under 24,000 units. Sure, a big false start, but certainly not a death knell. However, things haven't improved. Now data tracker Media Create is reporting that between the 8th and 14th of June, only 100 Xbox Ones were sold in Japan. For context, that's 260% less than the PlayStation 3. The PlayStation 3. You know that feeling when you're at a party filled with strangers and then a couple of randoms come up to you and they just start talking, but then they get bored and they walk away and you just end up pretending to take important work phone calls in the kitchen? You're me at a party, Xbox. Maybe it's time to leave that party. All right, Pocketeers, that's it for the news today. But don't forget that there is a special episode of Good Game on ABC2 tonight. Tune in at 8.30 to see Bajo and I deliver our positively scientific review of Batman Arkham Knight. And this afternoon on Pocket Prime, Hex drops by to debrief her E3 experience. Till then, Nick Boy out.